My name is Brenda and I'm a movement therapist and in this video we're going to focus on releasing the hips. Often when I see clients with hip issues I notice that the glutes are not strong enough. So as well as the hip releases with the use of a foam roller, a reflex ball or tennis ball if you don't have a, a reflex ball and a chair, we're going to focus on releasing the hips and activating the glutes. The more we strengthen the glutes, the more mobility we're going to have in the hips as well. So they work hand in hand. And we're going to focus on releasing the feet as well, because we know that all of the lines apart from the arm lines start in the feet. And with the hip releases, we're going to focus on that lateral line, the back line and the spiral line. So we really want to activate the, um, the lines of the body to really get that mobility into the hips. Let's start off with the reflex ball and the feet. We're going to take the ball and roll it from the big toe to the heel. So move the ball across the foot from the toes to the heel and bring it from the big toe to the lateral side of the foot to that little toe. Just a nice slow release to just activate the feet. And now just a nice quick movement to just wake up those nerves. Let's do the other foot. So the big toe onto the ball and roll over the arch of the foot to the heel. Let's move along the foot. All the way over to the little toe and just wake up those nerves. So this will bring that proprioception into the picture, just feeling those feet, waking up the nerves. Proprioception is that awareness of your body in space. Let's take a nice deep breath in and reach up and stretch and just shake the arms up. Come into a seated position on the roller. So here we're going to be releasing the glutes and you're going to cross one ankle over the knee. If you're not comfortable in this position, extend the leg and roll over the glutes and into that lower back. So we need to focus on warming up this entire area, that deep psoas muscle that sits within the lower back, in the core, in the deep core that moves into the front of the hip, into the iliopsoas. So we want to really lengthen and stretch this part of the, the hip. If you want to bring the foot into the hand, the yogi block, bring the, the leg up and roll over those glutes. Okay, let's do the same thing to the other side. So just, when we're in this position, you're going to lift the opposite butt of the same leg as the same buttock as a supporting leg off the roller and add that weight into the other leg so you get nice and deep into that release. Roll into the lower back and over the glutes. Lengthen the leg out if you want to. Cross the ankle over the knee if you can. And getting a little bit deeper, lift the leg up. Good. From that seated position on the roller, just come off the roller, behind the roller, into a seated position again. And bring the roller into the lower back. Lift the lower back and bring the roller into that lower back. So now we're opening up into the diaphragm and into that abdominal area. Bring the knees over the hips and just rock from side to side. 
So you massaging into that lower back and getting a little bit of movement into the hips. When the knees go over to one side, look to the opposite side. And the last one, come back to center, bring the foot down and the other foot down, lift their lower back and release the roller. Come up into a seated position and just one more release on the roller. You're going to bring the knees as wide apart as you can and you're going to open up. So we're rolling along the inside of the shin, but we're opening up into those hips. So the knees are nice and wide on either side of the roller, and now open up into the hips. So you bring the big toe and the heel parallel to the floor, and you're rolling along the inside of the leg. Let's do a few more. Good. Really opening up into those hips. Another two. And another one. Good. Let's release the roller. And now you're going to work with the chair. Starting off behind the chair, make sure the chair is just below the hip. So a little bit um, of, um, you don't want to lift the leg up too high. You want to be in a fairly uncomfortable position so you can focus on really opening up. So you can cradle the foot in the hand and I want you to push the knee down onto the, the back of the back waist of the chair. And now, once you've got the knee and the lateral side of the leg on the chair, I want you to lift the foot up. Push the knee down with the one hand and lift the other side of the foot up. And just ease yourself into that stretch. Three, two, and one. Good. Let's do the same thing to the other side. So bring the foot into the hand to start and then the knee up onto the back of the chair and just bounce the knee down as you lift that foot up and get a nice range of movement in the hip. Doesn't have to be big, little movement and increase that range of movement as the hip eases into that stretch. Four more, three, two, and one. And hold it in that rotation, lifting the foot and pushing the knee down. Good, let's release it. You're going to, now for this next one, you might need to push the chair up against the wall. So you've got a nice sturdy um, base to work from. Bring the feet parallel and nice and wide apart. The closer they are, the more difficult it is to get that nice range of motion in the hips. The further apart, maybe slightly wider than hip distance, and then just bounce into a stretch, lengthening the hamstrings and getting a nice stretch in the upper body as well. Now I want you to come forward, take the feet slightly further back if you need to, and into that um, down dog position so you're pulling back and now I want you to lift the knee up oh, sorry just moving forward slightly lift the knee up and rotate so you here you're getting a nice lateral line stretch and a nice range of movement in the hip and again if your movement is only today start off small and as you ease into the stretch and the release, you will um, increase the range of movement. So pull back and you're lifting up onto the ball of the 
the supporting foot and you're rotating the knee. So you're pulling into a rotation, taking the, the lifted knee to the opposite elbow. Rotate the foot on the mat. Push back and open up. Lengthen away. Let's do that again. Rotate. Pull back and open up. For three. Pull back and open up. And four. Pull back and open up. Let's hold it in the fifth one. Hold it there in the rotation with that supporting foot. And now you're just going to swing the knee from side to side. This is a nice oblique activation. So working into the waist. Let's step back and pull back into that down dog stretch. Up into the hamstrings. Come forward and let's do the same thing with the other leg. So nice lateral rotations and lengthening into that stretch. Let's lift the heel and rotate. And breathe in and pull back. For two. Breathe in and pull back. And three. Breathe in and pull back. Two more. Four. Breathe in and pull back. And five. Breathe in and pull back. Let's hold it in that rotation and bounce the knee from side to side. You should feel a nice oblique activation there. And let's pull back into that down dog stretch. Bounce the chest towards the thighs. Really open up into the hips. Let's do one more on either side. Open up and lengthen. Oh, and now you should get a, a bigger range of movement the second time around. And rotate. And open up. For two. Breathe in and open up. Three. Breathe in and open up. Two more. Breathe in and open up. Last one. Breathe in and open up. Let's hold it in that rotation and bring the knee from side to side. Let's do the same thing to the other side. Pull back into that stretch. Lifting the knee up and lengthen out and rotate. And breathe in for two and three and four the last one five breathe in hold it in that rotation and swing the knee across four three two and one good Coming into a few uh, glute activations, and the squat is great for this. So, we work a lot, we sit a lot, we're in a sedentary position a lot of the time. What we should be doing throughout the day is moving a lot. Every now and again, get up and out of your chair and do a few squats to really get that fluid running through the joints and... Um, that mobility will help loosen things up so you're not so stiff all the time. Let's focus on keeping the knees where they are and you're sitting back into your chair and you're lifting up. You squat and you lift up. So just gently hover above your chair. Don't sit on the chair, but that's your position you want to focus on being in. When you come into the squat try to keep the body nice and tall if i'm seeing if you're doing this and those knees are pushing forward over the toes then i want you to come behind the chair again if you need a stir a, a wall to push the chair up against to keep it nice and sturdy use it bring the feet slightly wider than hip distance and again you're sitting back into that position Holding on to the, the back of the chair will help you keep the knees in that position. The other thing I want you to watch out for 
is having the feet parallel and the knees coming in like that. You're going to put a lot of uh, strain on that lateral line and you're going to put a lot of strain on the inside of the knees. So if you find you're doing this, then I want you to turn the feet slightly out to about 45 degrees. Don't open up too much. Let's keep the feet there and make sure the knees are going out and not coming in. Okay, let's do a few of those. Squat, squeeze the glutes and lift. This is one of the best exercises to loosen up into the hips and activate those glutes. Let's keep going. Breathe out as you squat. Activate the glutes with the breath. Breathe in on the way up. Let's do another four. Breathe in and lift. And three. Breathe in and lift. One of the most important things while you're doing that squat is to keep the heels down. So try transfer the weight into the heels and let the toes relax. Let's hold it in that squat position. And now I want you to go as low as you can go. Again, making sure the heels stay in that position and the weight is in the heels. Hold that squat position, focus on your breathing. Remember we're breathing in and out through the nose, so nice deep diaphragmatic breath. Let's lift the tailbone and just bounce it out there. Squeeze the glutes, take a nice deep breath in, uncurl and circle the shoulders back. Let's give those legs a bit of a shake, wiggle the hips from side to side and hopefully those hips are feeling nice and um, mobile and those glutes have been activated. Thank you for joining me.